yes sir today we are going to learn here about speaking some tips and tricks that can be applied while you are going to your uh, uh, face the your exam of speaking test let's begin one be cool and feel comfortable in all the situations of your examination times you all the students that you are going to face the exam they must be feeling comfortable and cool maintain your body position posture if you are sitting on a chair when you are entering from the door and when you go and sit in a chair then when you start your communication remember you should focus on your body language because your body language should be very proper you know it can uh, provide a good impact and impression to the examiner and the examiner can be able to judge you in a proper way so focus how you are sitting on a chair okay next thing be formal and use formal language you are requested to use the formal language casual talks in formal language should not be used in your ielts speaking test so here you all need to do is that you should use the formal language when you are talking with the examiner the examiner may arrive there from other countries and he likes to hear your respective language respective words similarly point number 4 is talking about your speak fluently and clearly your words should be very fluent and clear should not use here like chewing gum in your mouth and the words will not come very clear and that will a bad impact for the examiner towards the student or the candidate so when they are going for your exam of speaking test you should speak very fluently and clearly similarly don't feel hesitation you are going to speak with the person whom you did not meet before or whom you don't know so in that situation don't feel any hesitations maybe the examiner will be a male female or like any age of the person like adult yes like old an old man no worry whoever is there your duty is just to provide your time 11 to 14 minutes of your talk during the test time here deliver your answer in medium pace you should not speak so fast if you speak fast then all the answers will be completed within a minute and seconds so remember there are three parts in speaking of ielts there are part 1 part 2 and part 3 and all together you have 11 to 14 minutes to speak in part 1 it is two way communication where you and examiner speak together he will ask or she will ask you the question and you should reply the answer remember in part 1 you should not talk long but don't give very short answers too you should give two three sentences long and if the example is necessary to you in part 1 you can deliver in part 2 you have to speak a cue card questions for 1 to 2 minutes before you start your speaking you may have 1 minute time to make some notes and prepare then you have to use the given 3 to 4 bullet points while speaking in part 2 in speaking part 2 only you are requested to speak the examiner will not talk a single word and during your speaking test your voice will be recorded there as an evidence that you passed the examination okay let's go to the next number do eye contact while speaking if you are doing eye contact while speaking it provides you a good sense good ideas because eye contact makes you more confident and when you feel complete confidence when you are very comfort then you can handle the situations whether any question asked to you or not okay similarly 
stay on topic and give complete answer. You should not talk off topic. If you talk off topic, your answers will not be matched with the questions. So for this reason, you have to listen the question properly. If you do not get the question, please ask the examiner to repeat the question or to simplify the question if the particular word you know you don't have any ideas but remember do not repeat the question do not request to repeat the questions all the times okay here use advanced vocabularies and synonyms advanced vocabularies and synonyms very important for your examination time because if you are using general words, simple words, it will not provide a good band score. If you are speaking in an advanced way, then that will provide a good impression to the examiner and you look as you can present yourself, you have well prepared. Okay. Similarly, speaking is an art, so don't try to memorize answers. You prepare a lot of questions, but Maybe in the exam day, the same questions will not be asked. But if you have prepared a lot of questions, you may have the ideas comes how to communicate. So don't try to mesmerize any questions. Don't remember. Just you can go and create your ideas and answers yourself to give the answer of the question. Next, keep your natural tongue. Don't copy or imitate the foreigners. Do not need to copy others. If you watch Hollywood movies or Bollywood as well, if they are talking in English tones, if the English speakers are there, native speakers, they can speak on their own ways, but you are the learner and you are not from the English speaking nations. So you need to stay on your own natural tongue and do not try to copy and imitate others' way of speaking, remember. Keep your natural tone. After this, don't use slang words and fillers such as um, oh, oh. These types of words cannot be used because these have no meanings and these are informal talks. While you speak here, you speak in test, do not try to use these types of words. It will not provide you better band score. Next. So you respect to the examiner. The examiner needs to see your discipline. If you have some good respect and you know your good discipline with the examiner, if you are punctual, if you are giving your proper attention to the questions, remember you can get the good score during the whole test. Okay, try to provide example if it is required, if it is necessary. If it is not necessary, don't give any questions or don't give any uh, examples. Means, uh, I mean to say, you, if you are giving the answers, depending on situations, you should provide examples to support your answer. Okay? Here, keep smiling during your speaking test. When you are smiling, it makes your face charming and good looking. So when you are smiling, Remember, you should provide your answer according to the situation. Don't feel any hesitation. Don't feel nervous, no panic. Because speaking provides you a better band score and it is now necessary for all the students to do the same. Your grammar depends on the situation of questions. Means the grammar, sometimes it can be asked about your past life, sometimes about your present life, and sometimes upcoming days. What's your aim in life? What you want to do in the near future? What is happening in the recent time or at the moment? Or what had happened earlier? Like when you were small, when you were a child, what happened? The question may ask you, describe your child memory. When you are talking about your childhood memories, you should focus on what ha happened or what had happened in the past. Sometimes you can imagine your answer. You know, based on reality, 
if you only give an answer, it will not be sufficient for you. So try to be creative person. And when you have made the answer, stay in an uh, imaginative way, but your answer should be always authentic. That if you are cheating the examiner or if you are telling the answer lie, then you'll be easily in trap. So be safe from yourself to stay on topic and do not tell anything that you are unaware. And this, these are the key features or key points that will help you to get your better bandage curve. So thank you for this. Thank mm -hmm. you.